and Sarah and John RV Kipper. Yeah, we, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with, some paper, and... Something to go with. Yeah, let's start. Okay. All right, first, let's draw the ground. We're going to draw a bumpy line going across our paper for the campsite. <laughs> there you go. All the way across. Now we're going to draw the wheel. We're going to draw a small little wheel back here. We'll draw a circle. And we want to make sure that it touches the ground. Now let's draw the center of our wheel. And we could also draw a little point inside. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of our camper. We're going to start in the middle of our wheel, and we're going to draw a line that goes straight across over here. And I'm going to stop before we get to the end of the paper. Yeah. Now we could also draw a small little line coming out the back. All right, now let's draw the big shape for our camper. We're going to draw a big, we're going to come up like this, and we're going to curve around, and then we're going to come back down and touch the, the bottom line. <laughs> I love the shape of your camper. Now this line over here, let's extend it out a little further. There you go. This is the trailer hitch that connects to our car or truck. Now let's draw a short line up and then we're gonna draw another line coming back to the camper. Next, let's draw a upside down U right here on the end. Now we're gonna draw the gas tank right here in front of our camper. So I'm gonna draw a shape that comes up, around, and then connect back down. Looks like a rectangle shape with round corners. <laughs> now we can draw two lines coming out of the top, and then connect the top. Okay, now let's draw the wheel that's keeping the front of our camper up and level. So let's draw a short line out of the propane tank and then we'll connect it down to the bottom. Now we're gonna draw a line that comes down here. We're gonna imagine that line going through. And let's draw a circle at the bottom of that line. Small little wheel. And then we're gonna draw Another line going up from the circle. Now let's also draw a dot, color it in inside that small little wheel. Oh, let's also add a short little rectangle on top for the handle. What should we draw next? A door. A door to our camper. Yeah, we need a way to get in. Uh, let's, draw, let's draw two straight lines going up that are in front of our wheel. And then I'm going to draw a U-shape to connect those two lines together. Let's also draw a circle for the window. Maybe it's an old school camper. And we could also draw uh, drapes. Let's <laughs> we're going to draw a V-shape, upside down V, right here in the middle. And then we're going to draw another bump that comes down on each side to finish the drapes. Yeah, we could also, let's draw little lines right there. Yeah, where the little the little bump on each side. That's the tie holding the drapes. Okay, now let's draw another window. We're going to draw a rectangle or a square shape over here. So we'll draw the letter L. And then let's draw an upside down L to connect. Let's also draw a frame around our window. Let's draw another square shape, but smaller inside. Now we could also draw two lines going across the middle. That's so you can open the window and get some fresh air. Yeah. Sometimes you need that fresh air in the camper. <laughs> okay, let's draw the drapes on our window. Let's draw a curve coming down on each side. And then we can draw a little bump down here on the bottom part of the window. Let's add a few more features to our camper. We need a doorknob, right? Yeah. Let's draw a circle, small circle. Let's also draw a turn signal light right here. 
And we could also add a spare tire to the back of our camper. Let's draw two short lines coming out. And we want these two lines to be about this far away. So it looks like a spare. So you can use your eye to guess how big the spare tire should be. Draw two lines, there you go. And then connect them. We did it, awesome, we finished drawing our camper. It looks really cool, except we still need to do one more step. What is it? Color it. Yeah, this is my favorite. We are gonna fast forward this part, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. Or you can use your own creativity and color your campers any way you want. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Did you have fun coloring your camper? Yeah. I, I did too. In fact, we had so much fun. We had to add a background. We had the trees, the ground, and also the sky. I even added clouds, but you can leave that off to keep this lesson a little easier. What else could our art friends add to this drawing? A campfire. Yes, a campfire would make this complete. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your camper. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you have fun changing your drawing. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.